Welcome to Excel Magic Trick 1831. Now in this video, the three previous videos, in the next video, we're talking about the original lookup function, lookup. And in this video, we're going to talk about the famous problem, what do you do if you have multiple discount lookup tables? Well, we're going to use switch and lookup. Now be sure and download this file. On this sheet, there's some notes. And all of these examples come from my The Only App That Matters book, of course, available at Amazon. Now, here's the setup. We have product price and units, but for each one of the products, we have a different lookup table. So for this row right here, our lookup formula needs to look at this table. Aspen doesn't have a specific table, so it needs to use the default. Quad, for this row, it needs this table. Now, there's lots of different ways to solve a multiple lookup table problem. This video link right here, six years ago I made this, has all sorts of amazing solutions. But this is the one I prefer. It's the fastest to create, and it calculates plenty fast. We're actually going to use the switch function. The expression, that's going to be our lookup value, comma. And then switch allows you to put in the lookup value to match and what you want to return. So this is the lookup value. That's the result. So for value 1, I click on Bellin and F4 to lock it, comma. The result, it's a complete approximate match discount lookup table, F4, comma. Value 2, quad, F4, comma. The second table, there it is, F4. Then when we comma, now we're doing the default. Select, F4, close. And when I Control Enter, let's see, for Bellin, sure enough, it got the right table. Now I'm going to copy it down one row just to see if it got the right table for Aspen. And sure enough, it did. Control Z. Now in each row, there'll be a different table, so F2. This is approximate match, so I'm going to use lookup. Now we're using the bottom argument, lookup value and array, which is a table. There's unit sold, lookup value, comma. And bam, switch is going to deliver the correct approximate match table. And each one of these tables has a first column that's sorted, and there's more rows than columns. So I come to the end, close parentheses, Control Enter. Double click and send it down. I better check the last one since I had to lock cell references, F2. And sure enough, it looks like everything's working. All right, now in next video, we'll see a slightly different situation. If you can just take the tables and mash them together, we'll see that there's a different solution. All right, we'll see you next. Look up Excel magic trick.